guys, welcome to Mom's Cherished Home. Today we are going to make the famous, or infamous I should say, Woolworths Icebox Lemon Cheesecake. It is delicious. If you haven't had this before, Luby's here in Texas used to serve it. It's a light and fluffy cheesecake with a very small hint of lemon. Now our recipe calls for us to mix the lemon jello first with one cup of boiling water, and that's a three ounce box. That's a really cheap uh, brand, Hill Country Fair, which is H-E-B. That's three ounces. You're gonna have three ounces of lemon jello with one cup of boiling okay, water. Okay guys, I have the gelatin, the lemon gelatin. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in a bowl. And I'm gonna add my one cup of boiling water. Go ahead and add that in and you stir that up. And you keep stirring it and mixing it up until it gets a little thick. We are not adding cold water. We're not adding ice cubes. We're just gonna keep doing this until it's thickened. Okay, now part of the recipe, and I'm gonna post this recipe in the comments, is one eight ounce brick of cream cheese softened. I've softened this in the microwave. And it calls for one cup of granulated sugar. Now, I always <clears throat> reduce the amount of sugar. This is three-fourths of a cup. This is not a whole cup, but the recipe actually does call for one cup granulated sugar. And then four tablespoons of lemon juice, which we've already got squeezed out. Oh, I see a couple seeds in there. I'll take those out. Maybe now it's just pull up, I think. So you want four tablespoons of lemon juice. My hands are clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in, the four tablespoons of lemon juice, and then our cup of granulated sugar, which I told you I have reduced the amount of sugar for my recipe. And then you're gonna beat that until it's nice and creamy. It should only take a couple minutes. And if you don't like this much lemon, you can actually reduce the tablespoon amount to two tablespoons or three tablespoons if you don't like it, but I like it lemony. So we'll go ahead. Okay, now I've taken a spatula and I've kind of scraped the bowl, so I'm gonna just run that mixer through there one, one more time real quick. And then you are gonna add your gelatin mixture right to that cream cheese, sugar, and lemon juice mixture. We're gonna go ahead and add that in. And this time you want that beater to be a little less, you don't want it on high. Now this recipe does call for one can of evaporated milk and that is a 12 ounce can. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in that jello bowl that we just used. And then what you're gonna do with this, it's similar to whipping cream, but not quite the same. The, t uh, d the taste is much different and it's delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and set that bowl right there to the side. And you can go ahead, you don't need to wash your mixer or your beaters, so don't fret about that. So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to whip this evaporated milk until it gets light and fluffy. You don't want whipped cream, that's not what we're aiming for. We just want it to be light and fluffy. Okay, here we go. And you want your beaters on high for this. guys we are going to make our graham cracker crust if you've never made one of these before of course you can buy a store-bought right now um however i'm not going to the grocery store right now it's coronavirus i'm using everything that i have on hand in my pantry most of you have these staples on hand if you don't um you could you know either go to the store or get a pre-made graham cracker crust or homemade and i'm telling you with this recipe you really want homemade and it's super simple to make what the recipe calls for is one cup, one and a quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs. And we're just gonna put that in our pan. I'm gonna do this the super easy way, at least in my opinion, it's the easy way. We're just gonna, and it calls for a nine by 13 pan, but I'm actually using an eight by eight. I want my dessert to be a little thicker. 
and um, not as thin. So this will be the, the cheesecake will actually be a little thicker. There goes my light. Told you I'm gonna have a lot of these videos with my light going off. Okay, my hands are clean. I'm kind of just um, evening this out in the pan and then it calls for one quarter cup of granulated sugar. And I'm just gonna slightly put this on top. Looks like a lot of sugar, doesn't it guys? Maybe we won't use as much. We're just gonna mix that all in. And you can do that beforehand. I didn't, I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. We'll put just a little bit more in. And I've buttered the bottom of the pan ahead of time. I'm telling you guys, I don't think we need that much sugar. I always try to eliminate sugar or salt whenever I can. And I'm thinking this looks like an eighth of a cup of sugar is gonna be just fine. Unless you like everything super sweet. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. So I've already taken a stick of butter and melted that. I think I'm gonna melt it just a couple more seconds till it's all the way um, okay, we're back, liquid. and so we just melted our butter a little bit more, and we're just gonna, uh, this is one stick of butter, and I use unsalted butter in my recipes unless it calls for salted butter, like with cookies or something. So we're gonna have just, and you can hear my dish, there's always noise going on in my videos. Sorry guys, there's always something going on. That dishwasher's going full, full blazing. Usually it's the TV or the vacuum or something, or a jet going on if I'm outside. We're just gonna pour that on. And then we're just gonna come back over and just kinda go over. This is gonna make a really yummy crust, guys. I'm telling you, it's super good. This will set up. Don't worry if it doesn't look like what you're thinking. It's gonna set up. Listen, I've been cooking a long time, so I know how all these things go. I'm not a newbie. But that's okay, you know, this is good for newbies. This is a good, easy recipe for somebody who hasn't cooked very long. I just love this recipe because it's light and there's not too many calories in this. So this really makes a nice dessert. And hey, we're all holed up with the coronavirus, so we might as well make some good food. I just hope that I don't gain a bunch of weight during this time. All right, there we go, we're done with that. All right guys, you see how the consistency is of milk. It is nice and fluffy. And that is what you're looking for right there. Nice and fluffy. All right. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to mix this into that jello cream cheese sugar lemon juice mixture. And as you can see, this has gotten a little thick. We're gonna go ahead and add that in. You want all that yummy goodness out of there, get it out, get it out. And my gosh, you know what? Whipped evaporated milk smells so good. You know, I think I'm gonna experiment, make me a Starbucks with the cloud coffee and use this uh, technique to make that whipped milk because this, I use this in my coffee and it's uh, cheap, but it also is really good. Okay, we've got that all. And now all you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this in. Don't go too crazy stirring this. You just wanna fold that in. We are gonna move our mixer out of the way. Keep folding. You want all that mixture incorporated with each other. We're not gonna beat this part, we're just folding it in. You, you want it to be light and fluffy now. So if you put the mixer on this, you're gonna lose, because you've added it to the cream cheese and the jello, you're gonna lose that fluffy texture. And that's what you want. We're looking for a light and airy, delicious cheesecake. Now you can see I've got most of it incorporated. And I've gone pretty slow as to not lose that creamy, whipped consistency. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this into that graham cracker crust. Here we go. 
it is gonna be thick, just like I wanted it. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Now, one little trick that you can do that I like to do with this cheesecake is before I refrigerate it, I'm just gonna add a little bit of graham cracker to the top. No sugar needed. And then when you serve this, it'll be really pretty as well. You could add lemons, but I think it'll um, ruin the texture. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna refrigerate this for about three hours, and we're gonna have a delicious dessert. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We're going to bring you recipes and fun projects from time to time. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and I will be posting the recipe for you. It's a pretty easy recipe, delicious. You will love it. Once again, it is our Woolworths Lemon Icebox Cheesecake and it is delicious. You will love it. Thanks so much for watching.